Hello guys, welcome to another Ross Perry Productions video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you around 11 kV switching station, and this one is rated at 12 MVA. And that 12 MVA is split between two feeders at six MVA each. So we're just standing at the end of the room that has double doors, and these doors are fire rated and blast rated, and they're also steel clad as well. So on the steel cladding, you'll also notice we have earth bonds on any metallic items in the room. And I'll get to the earthing in just a second. So like I say, this is two feeders. We have one coming in this trench here, and one coming in this trench here. Both feeders are using a 400 millimeter square cable, which is actually aluminum. And I'll show you that in just a second. So the switch gear itself is actually Schneider's SM6 switch gear and I'll show you around that in a minute. But first off, I'll just show you the 400 millimeter square cable. So we've just got the termination stood off at the moment, but you can see where they get bolted on inside. And then this is the braiding that actually gets earthed. And we've got the cables terminated, ready to go. So like I say, this is 400 millimeter square aluminum cabling. This is where the feeder comes in this side, which is repeated on that panel there. So the feeder cables come in. Here's the cubicle that's actually the feeder cubicle. And we have a fault current indicator here. We've got our switch controls for local remote and trip and close here with our indicator beacons here, so open and closed. And then moving down, we actually have a manual switch position indicator, and you'll see these two plastic covers. These plastic covers are actually stopping you from getting to the main operator point, which uses this tool. And they are both locked off. And this is how you would send the switch to earth, and this is how you operate the switch. And obviously there's an interlock between the two. So moving along, this is our metering panel, and then it gets through to our consumer switch gear, which is a carbon copy of the feeder switch gear. So again, we have our fault current indicator, switch controls, beacons, and then everything's repeated there. Once the cable gets terminated onto the switch gear, it then comes out the back of the trench and goes through to consumer switch gear in the next room. So there is two cables exiting, both of these uh, switch gear. And then it, there's two buses next door that can be bus coupled as well. So this is our personnel door. So like I say, it's a single door. Again, the same steel clad, fire rated and blast rated. And then we've got a push bar exit on all of the doors and that's for the event of an escape in case there's an emergency. Just looking on the wall here, we have a small distribution board and this is just giving us our, our local lights, power, and the equipment heaters. Other than that, there's not too many other services passing through the room. There's no ductwork, no me mechanical ventilation, no fire detection. Just keeps it nice and simple. And then, like I said earlier, on the earthing, all the metallic items are earthed. And then we have our main earth bar on the wall here. Making note that each earth cable uses its own bolt and own lug. So if you ever need to disconnect one earth, you can just remove it from the bar. Not too much to see on the back of the equipment. And there we go. Well, I hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please go ahead, give me the thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, check out some of my other videos and subscribe to my channel.